Today is 18 November 2020. Today we are at manufacturing plant of Fastener Machinery. It is located in Shangzhou City of Henan Province. Over here we have the gate of the industrial park. And Fastener occupies three plant buildings and one office building inside. In total, 50,000 square meters and 200 people are working in it. Today I'm going to show you every detail of it so you will feel more confident work with us in the future. Let's go inside. Now we are in front of our manufacturing plant. You can see our company title is on top. This plant is for production of carbonization and pyrolysis. Beston has two series of productions. Pyrolysis is to convert scrap tire or waste plastic into oil, and carbonization is to convert biomass into charcoal. Let's go inside and take a deeper look. Dear friends, here we are at our manufacturing plant for production. You can see, on my right side, there is the warehouse for accessories. And going down, we will see the different procedures for production. For example, the stock area, assembly area, painting area, and the finishing area. Now we can go to the second floor of the warehouse and take an overview of this plant. Let's go to the second floor to take a look so we will understand better about the organization. From here we can see the entire layout of our plant. Please follow me. We have two lines of production. One is for pyrolysis, another one is for carbonization. You can see the reactors are lined up in the stock area. The logic of our plant is very logical and efficient. Since we are in the warehouse, I would like to show you some critical parts. Take an example of these stainless steel flanges. All of the flanges we use are all of international standard. We can compare it with a normal flange like this. That is rusty and brittle. Another example we take is the valves. Over here we use the valve made out of copper or stainless steel. We can compare it with a normal valve made out of iron. The difference is huge. In Beston, we focus on every details to make sure that we make it perfect and high class for our customer. Here we are at our exhibition shelf of the welding work, from which we can see all different positions of welding. In Beston, all of our technicians are certified. We are good at arc and arc welding, carbon dioxide welding, oxygen welding, electric welding, etc. We are especially specialized in stainless steel welding, and that is known to be difficult. In front of us is a reactor of a pyrolysis. This is a 10 ton per day pyrolysis unit. And we can see the size is 2.6 times 6.6 meters long. And the pin we use is always a heat resistant pin. It will keep a nice looking after a long time use. And the material of which is made out of boiler steel and thickness of 16 millimeters. I know some suppliers take it for 10 to 12 millimeters, but we would like to keep the standard. After this, I would like to point out about this big gear. This gear is made out of iron. It's one piece and it's very critical for this heavy machinery because it takes the force to drive this heavy machine. Then we move along to this part. This is the welding work from our auto welder. Once the sheet, plate sheet is banded, we will weld it both from inside and outside two times to make sure it's toughness. And after that, we will do the concentricity test, pressure test, to make sure there's no leakage and also the shape is complete round. And after that, we will do the penetration test, supersonic test, etc. Our quality control is very critical in this company. Everything has to pass our apparent test, dimensional test, and pressure test. 
Only the qualified parts will be qualified for shipping. This part I would like to point out especially. We have especially designed this part where the reactor meets with the roller. This extra ring will protect the reactor after a long time using. It will not face any deshape or deformation. Our pyrolysis system can process many kinds of materials, be it scrap tire, waste plastic, or oil sludge, and depending on the raw material and its form, be it shredded or packed, then we will choose different ways for feeding. For example, this reactor door is designed for belt conveyor feeding. It can be big matters like an entire, entire tire or a packed plastic. And on the other hand, this one is designed for hydraulic feeder and screw feeders. It's mainly used for shredded materials. Now we have passed the stock area for reactors and we are at the manufacturing part. On my right hand, there is the auto welding machine and on my left hand is the welding area. And over there, that is the steel rolling machine. And from the left side, we have the assembly area, finishing area, and finally the waste areas. These big, big gears here are made out of casting iron. It will later working with the reactor to drive the reactor to rotate. It is very critical part for our pyrolysis reactor. And these in stock are prepared for you. Here we are at the stock area for different projects. These are all the finished parts and components ready to be shipped. On each of the part, we have the tag for customer names and their country. And each project is stacked together so that it will be easier to arrange when shipping is coming. We have here our three ash tanks. Moving along, we can see the casings for our reactor. This is the auto feeder. Over here, the tanks are for manifold, hydroseal, and hamper tanks. Inside, again, we have the casings for the reactors. What is undercover here are different projects waiting for the shipment. For example, this one is to Nigeria, and that one is to Chile. Moving along, we have projects for Thailand and Singapore. What we have here are the stocks for Project 2. For example, this one is a cooling discharger on my right hand, and these two are the flue condensers. And these two are the chimneys, and this two is another cooling discharger. Everything is packed in with plastic and waiting for the shipment. At last, we arrive at our carbonization section. Behind me, there are two reactors for carbonization. One is already complete and one is under construction. This is a unit of a 3 tons per hour continuous running carbonization unit. We will take a closer look. Here we have a base of the carbonization reactor. And the base consists of mainly two parts. One is the combustion chambers, another one is the three point rollers. First, in the combustion chamber, we have the refractories and heat resistant walls. And from the three point support, the reason of this design is because our reactor is very long, and this support will reduce the chance for its deformation after a long time use. On our carbonization reactor, where it matches to the combustion chamber, we use the stainless steel on these two parts in order for it to withstand a high temperature after many years of using. The design of our reactor will adapt to our patented double tube design so that the material can go inside and come out from the same side 
and constantly feeding and constantly discharging. In Boston, we keep developing cutting-edge technologies to meet with our customers' demand. Over here, we have the controlling system of the carbonization. This PLC cabinet is made with two doors design and a Siemens screen on top. It will control all the way from the drying system to the reacting system to the dedusting system. On the reactor, we designed an inspection door so that you can see the machine running during its process.